We're all about efficiency here. I don't have time to go get a brush. This would actually be what my hair would look like if I bleached it another time. I would ha literally have two hairs left. Yo, good morning. So, it's been a little while since I inflicted any damage onto my hair. It's been in a state of mending itself back together, but I decided that enough is enough. It's actually had more than enough time to grow itself out. It's healed itself so well that my hair is too long now. So now is the best time to attack. If my hair could talk, it would probably say, I tired of living on this earth. It was more than a month ago, but I decided to get a wolf cut, and this is what my hair looked like back then. When I used to have some sort of bang to my hair, I'm not even 100% sure if this is a wolf cut. It's what I asked for, but th this is what I got. You don't get everything that you ask for in life, I guess. Unless you're rich, because then you can buy whatever you want, including new hair. Right now, these are at an awkward stage, where they're kind of contemplating between whether to be bangs or to be part of this longer part of my hair. Personally, I don't really like wasting people's time. Uh, wow, so relatable. I I'm sure no one does. And this could just be a me problem. It's definitely a me problem. I just feel kind of weird calling up my hairstylist and asking them, Hey, can, do you have time? Do you have this extra three minutes to trim my bangs quickly? Do I have to book in for this? How much is it gonna cost? Is this an inconvenience? I feel like this is an inconvenience. It's also kind of awkward because I'm not really sure how much I'm supposed to pay, and it's not on the menu. It'll probably take less than 5 minutes, and if I have to pay the exact same amount as a regular haircut, then I might as well just do it myself. If there's one thing that my Asian parents taught me, why hire a professional when you can do a very mediocre job for free? Did I also mention that you can save money and it's free? Wow, they really hammer in that free part into your head, huh? I've actually cut my bangs myself once or maybe twice but anyways every single time that i did cut my hair myself it was very questionable so questionable that i actually did it on two of my other friends that are for some reason still talking to me oh my god i really chose to use violence against my friends so i'm gonna do it again today but instead of doing it all chaotic and with no direction i'm actually gonna follow a super helpful tiktok that i saw that is um probably just as questionable, if not more. The TikTok hack that is supposed to be very easy and quick, and there's no way that you can mess it up at all. There's just a bunch of compilations of people doing it badly, but that's okay. That can't be me. I'm not gonna be a statistic today. All you do is take your bangs and make an X on your face. An X as in, this is wrong, don't do this. And then you just do a few snip snips and there you go. You have nicely trimmed bangs. Well, enough talking, it's time to get to haircutting. How bad can this go? I guess a worst case scenario is I end up looking like... <coughs> but hey, I can always pick up a pair of clip-on bangs. I feel like if I wore that, I would give off the same vibe as those balding guys that are trying to hide their bald heads with a toupee. Which, nothing wrong with being bald and using a toupee. Uh, that's probably gonna be me in like two years. Hey, okay, time for some chaos. Right, Nico? Right, Nico? You're gonna watch me make some bad decisions? You wanna see some bad choices right in front of your eyes? This is what my hair looks like now. As you can see, the front part looks um, very... I kind of look like a purple Rengoku. Umai. Umai. But this is actually perfect, because I can see which parts of my bangs need to be cut, and which parts need to be tucked away and hidden from uh, danger. Hello, I'm back, looking like a bug. I look like uh, Miss Jenny Kim from Backstreet Boys. One of the TikToks said they use clips to prevent themselves from getting a bowl cut. If I end up messing up my hair, why don't I just give myself a bowl cut? I think that'd be pretty fashionable, to be honest. So this is all the hair that I have that is supposed to be part of the bang. I also forgot my brush, so I'm just gonna comb my hair with some scissors. We're all about efficiency here. I don't have time to get a brush. Is that a fly? All right, TikTokers, how do I proceed next? Hey, quick question. How come Olivia Rodrigo songs are like the anthem for people cutting their own hair? Am I missing something? P please advise. She does it with such confidence. And her vision was like half impaired. Well, first I should wet my hair. 
Um, oh, or should I have just gotten a bowl and dip my bangs into the bowl? You know what? Maybe I'll just go <laughs> dip my hair in the sink. <laughs> Perfect. I'm a bug no more. I turn into like a metal detector. You know those people that bring crystals to the grocery store and they wave them over the fruit to see which fruit is good? Do you think that would work if I did that with my hair? This would actually be what my hair would look like if I bleached it another time. I would ha literally have two hairs left. Let me give this a little bit of a brush through. Uh, right now, there is actually a fly that flew into the house and it's just sitting on the wall watching me do this. I don't know, is that a bad omen? Cause uh, nothing good comes when flies come around. Maybe you can smell like the bullshit from all these TikTok videos. <laughs> all right, I just watched like uh, two people mess up in a row. Let me Google something quickly. How to style a bowl cut. Okay, you know what? It should be fine. Like I said, if I mess up, I can always get it fixed. Oh, Jesus! What the hell? Oh my God. If you bark right when I'm cutting my hair and I mess up, to the pound you go. Oh, there's also a, a few of my hairs that actually um, snapped off because I bleached it too much, but uh, yeah, don't mind those. I don't think you can even see them, so yes, everything is fine. Okay, after you find your middle part, you do a little crisscross action <laughs> like this. How do I get it to stay though? Let's clip this over here. Oh my God. Okay, everything's fine. I think I'm just psyching myself out. Anyways, I'm scared, but I don't know, man. Wish me luck. I'm sure it'll be fine. Cut it like this. <laughs> what the f I'm scared. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, ooh, very blunt. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Eh, maybe it should be fine. My hair is wet, so it's so blunt. I look like Zenitsu. R.I.P. Purple Rengoku. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, it's very uneven. Okay, how do I fix this? Uh, let me try and even this out. I think we're pretty close to the same length. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> let me do this in the bathroom. Alright, so this is my attempt at fixing it, making it um, as close as possible. They're definitely not twins, but my face is kind of uneven anyways. I also chopped into it like this because th that's what I saw the, the people on TikTok doing. I've been following their advice so far and I, I haven't had any problems yet. Also, why is everyone rich as fuck? Everyone has a Dyson Airwrap. Is everyone getting sponsored or is everyone just rich? I don't have one. All I have is a blow dryer and my hands. I guess the next thing to do is blow dry it and see the damage that I've done. Hopefully it's fine. It looks a little short. Uh-oh. It, it looks a little short. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, it looks a little short. Did, did I mention that it looks a little short? All right, I don't have a Dyson Airwrap, but I do have one of these brushes. And I saw some people blow dry it while doing this motion. Oh my god, I don't want to have turf bangs. So what have I learned after cutting my hair all these times? Well, for one, I feel like cutting your hair is like a rite of passage. It teaches you valuable life skills like realizing your dumb decisions actually have consequences that you have to live with. But that being said, you can never truly get better at something if you don't do it. Oh wait, am I supposed to do it this way? Oh no, messing up already. Okay, and from that other TikTok tutorial I saw, that girly kind of flipped your hair backwards. Huh. Oh, okay. It's actually not bad. Okay, yeah, I think we're getting somewhere. Let me um show you the final result in two seconds. I just need a... I am a mess right now. Y'all see what I'm seeing? <laughs> okay, TikTok. I think you win this round. Do you? Oh, I don't know. The more I look at it, the more I'm concerned. 
The thing is, when I cut my hair those first couple times, it looked great the couple days that I had it cut. But then after I washed it... Well, she tried. At least, you know, she... But for a quick two-minute bang trimming that I followed from a TikTok, it doesn't look that bad. I think it blends in with my hair pretty nicely, I think. <laughs> I don't know, man. My standards are quite low. Personally, I think it looks okay. But as someone that is not a professional or a hairdresser, here, let me see if I can give you a close-up. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Close-ups are kind of dangerous. You can see where I went wrong. I think the length for this side is good. It's got that nice swoop to it. Uh, this one's a little bit questionable. I don't think I cut this side any different. I think I just have to fix it through styling. I guess time will tell. We'll see how my hair reacts after I give it a glass of water. I save myself a trip outside and possibly 30 bucks. Or probably like two bucks. I don't think they would have charged me three bucks. I wore this outfit in public one time and my friend said I look like a Yakuza. But I feel like I look more like a lone shark. Hey, give me all your money. Give me all your money. Or I'll make your hair look like mine. I'll give you a weird janky TikTok haircut. Is that what Yakuza or lone shark say? Yeah, it really could be worse. You know what? I actually saw a few people message me on Instagram saying that I inspired them to experiment and cut and dye their hair. Is this what they mean when they say influencers influence people? That is a lot of responsibility to take on. And my back is going to be broken from carrying the weight of everyone's bad decisions. That being said though, if you would like to see more hair inspiration videos, or just to see my videos pop up in your recommended, give this video a like and a comment for that yummy engagement. You can uh, feed the YouTube algorithm in the form of deep fried hair on the ground. If I'm not posting on YouTube, I'll be streaming on Twitch, or I'll be hanging out on Instagram and TikTok. Have a good day, try not to be dumb, and I'll see you in the next one. If I can't even see, I can barely see anything. <laughs> oh hey wait, this looks kind of cool. I kind of look like a pirate with an eye patch.